Hey everyone, my name is Jacob. Today we're going to be talking about the Amazon Echo and specifically the future of the Amazon Echo lineup, what we can expect to see this year and, you know, many years down the line. Um, now, I actually have touched on this in another video. Um, I, I don't like making duplicate videos. This is not a video like that's just taken out of another video because I only just touched on it. I want to talk more about it because I get asked this question a lot and I thought, you know what? We should have a discussion about this. So if you have any questions at the end of this video, be sure to chat with me in the comments below because I will be down there chatting with you. Um, one thing I do want to point out really quick before we get started is I just took a look on Amazon and the Amazon Echo, the Amazon Echo Dot, the Amazon Echo Plus, a bunch of Echo devices are on sale right now. I don't know really why, but I'm not complaining. They have them up to like 40% off. So they are really cheap. I think the Echo Dot is 50% off. So they're really cheap. I'm going to leave links out in the description. So if you're looking to upgrade um, your device or get a new Amazon Echo device or whatever you want to do, be sure to go check out those links in the description. It's not sponsored by Amazon. I just want to let y'all know. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. The future of Amazon Echo devices. What can we expect to see? Now, I got, the, I got asked this question on a live stream. I've seen it many times before, but on a live stream, I got asked this question and it really made me start thinking about it. Um, the Amazon Echo devices right now, in my opinion, are very, very good. And I don't wanna say they're at their peak, but they do almost anything we would want them to do. Um, now, of course, as technology advances, technology, and the echoes will advance. So for example, we had an echo plus, and then a few years later we had an echo plus with the temperature sensor inside of it and, and better speakers and stuff. So as those technologies advance, we'll have better advancements. But in my opinion, the echo lineup as it is right now is really, really good. And for the next maybe two or three years, I don't see much of a reason to, you know, update them. In my opinion, we need to work on starting to make smart home technology more accessible to the public. Right now, it's really expensive. Like my Philips Hue bulbs that I have um, that can change colors with, and you can control them with your phone or your Echo device or HomePod, whatever you want to use, um, they're $50 a bulb. That is insane. A usual normal consumer is not going to buy those. That is just absolutely crazy. But if we can start working on making smart home technology cheaper and more accessible, the market will explode. I mean, obviously, I mean, I don't think anyone is necessarily going to want to pay more for something that they could be paying cheaper for or less money for. Um, yeah, that's my opinion though. So I can't really say for sure, but in my experience, People don't like paying more for something that they could be paying less for. And so it would definitely help, you know, for the people that already have smart home devices to kind of expand their, expand their smart home. But obviously for the people who cannot buy those devices right now because of their disposable income, that would help so much. And it would really expand the market and make Amazon Echo devices more of a necessity than sort of like a cool little thing to have in your house. Um, as for us, we only use um, our Echoes for smart home and listening to music. It's just kind of how it works. That's how we've been using them. So, um, and I feel like that's how majority of people are using them. We aren't using them for all of these different add-on features that they have. I think they're focusing too much on making it, you know, like the smartest thing in the world. Um, cause I cannot tell you a time that I've asked an echo how to cook something or whatever. I, I will use my phone for that. Cause I like to have the directions right there in my face. And you know what? The echo show does have a screen on it. So that would definitely help. But for the majority of people, they don't have an echo show. So basically what I think is, is that we should work on making smart home devices cheaper. Now, is Amazon going to focus on that? No, because they're going to they're going to want more money, more I mean, there's almost like an expectation for a new Echo device this year. And I mean, I'm expecting it. A lot of people are are expecting it. Um, but honestly, like in my opinion, <laughs> what 
could uh, what else could we really do? Like the Echo speaker itself right now is absolutely great. It has great sound. Um, it does everything that we really need it to do. Um, what we really need to work on is making, like I said, making cheaper smart home devices, but not only cheaper ones, but making them for different things. So if we get it cheaper, then we could have, you know, like just really like simple and cool things like um, shades, uh, uh, raising and lowering the shades or um, blinds or something. There are devices for this right now, but like Lutron, they make them, they're so expensive. Like I think they're like $200. No one's gonna, for, for one, a single shade. No one's gonna spend that much money on that. I mean, al unless you 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 have a bunch of money to just spend on stuff like that. No one is gonna spend that money. So stuff like that would just make the market for smart home just expand. If we could just expand that even more, and you know, like um like built like make smart home devices like the normal or, or the norm. Like whenever we buy a lamp, it's already smart home. You know, like we can already control it with it because it doesn't cost as much to make anymore. And I just, I, I feel like we're kind of focusing, well, not we, cause I'm not, I don't really have much to do with this, but the, the majority of companies are focusing on the wrong things. Um, and I get that it makes them more money um, updating an Echo device because for people like me who will buy that new Echo device most likely if it um, suits what we want. Um, but like I said, for the future of Echo devices, I don't really see much more they can do. I mean, last year they came out with glasses and a ring, a ring, like wearable technology. I'm totally for it. I think it's amazing, but we really don't need a ring. We, like a watch, glasses are cool. Yes. I mean, the Echo glasses are not cool, but smart, smart glasses would be really cool. But I mean, right now. We just don't have the technology for it. And we need to start working on what we have now. Not, not like trying to discover something new whenever we haven't even tapped into what we have now. I don't really know if that makes a lot of sense. Of course, there's always room for discovery and people can definitely go ahead and do that. But sort of like how we've barely discovered a portion of our oceans. And we're already going to Mars. And, and I completely get the reason for going to Mars. Um, obviously, in a few thousand years, we're not going to live on Earth anymore. But we haven't even discovered the oceans yet. If we put all of our resources into making ocean technology, we would have been there years ago. Technology has dramatically advanced over the past few years. And that's amazing. But we haven't even really looked at what we have to make that more accessible. Um, you know, like uh, me as going into college and, you know, getting some type of job that I probably don't want right now, like a fast, not fast food, but you know, like a retail job probably. I don't have enough money to spend on smart home device devices, but I'm very passionate about it. And um, I would love for that to be more of an open thing where anyone could get it. And like I said, in the next few years, it be the norm you whenever you buy bulbs they're smart home bulbs because everyone has you know the ability to control them and i mean most people already have a smartphone now the majority of people do um so i i don't know i mean it, it it's a lot to think about um and and to talk about um but yeah as far as the future of amazon echo devices there's definitely going to be a future for it for this year, they're gonna update some of their devices, add different things to them. They're gonna have new ones. I'm sure they're gonna come out with a watch because they just have third-party watches for now. Um, they have Echo Buds. They're gonna update those sometime in the future. But um, I mean, I don't know, like to think about like just that we, we've we kind of like, you know, like Philips Hue. They, they make those devices and then they just keep on making more and more and more. I feel like we kind of need to look back on those devices that we've made and make them cheaper and more accessible to the public. And I mean, that would probably even make companies more money if that's what they're really concerned about. You know, they are, um, most of them are. Um, you know, if we go and look back at those devices and figure out how do we make this cheaper? How do we make this more accessible to other people and um, or to, to really anyone that has a house that, you know, 
like I said, you can go into the store, buy a, buy a bulb, and the normal is, the norm is buying a smart home bulb, and you don't have to spend fifty dollars on a bulb. Yes, they they will always be more expensive than a usual light bulb, but um, like I said, that'll be that'll become the norm. Um, so yeah, I I don't know. Like I this video is kind of like the future of Amazon Echo devices, but also the future of smart home, because um, I really feel like we right now we're good. Like. The, we have so many different types of Amazon Echo devices from the Plus to the Echo to the Dot to the Shows to the Studio, which is also on sale, by the way. Um, just so many different devices that we have out that right now we need to work on making it more accessible and, you know, more, just more, like, capable. Um, not in the sense of like we need to add temperature sensors to all the Amazon Echo devices, but you know, like I was talking about the sh like the shades, or you know, like like locks, like uh, locks to your door. Um, they're very expensive right now. I mean, getting a doorbell is extremely like one hundred, two hundred dollars. Like that's crazy. We can we can work on this. Um, and of course, there is always the matter of security that people have. Um, Obviously, if we were to work on this, that would be something that a lot of people would want to work on, and I completely get it. I am, obviously, I don't want anyone hacking into my devices, so I completely get it as well. But if you're worried about stuff like getting a smart lock or something like that, it is a lot more difficult to break into a smart lock than just kicking down a door. And I feel like a lot of us know that, but because there's so many unknown elements to technology that we don't really know about. Um, you know, a person that is going to hack into a smart lock is going to have to have a lot of education on it. And they're, um, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while, especially these companies like, you know, Apple and Google who are really focusing on a lot of the security in their devices. Um, and of course there's always gonna be problems, always. You're always gonna see problems in the news, always. But as we advance that technology, it will get better. But yeah, if you're worried about like getting a smart lock because of security, um, like I said, it's a lot easier to break down a door than to hack into a smart lock. Hmm, I'm or, not sure. And the echoes, they're always listening. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of it for this video. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about this. I'm very passionate about technology and the future of it. So um, yeah, I, I just I, I just want to like voice my opinion. If y'all have any thoughts about on this at all, be sure to talk to me in the comments below. Like I said, Amazon Echo devices are on sale right now. I could not recommend them more. Um, I love my Echo devices. I'm more moving towards HomePod right now, but it's not because I don't like them. It's because of like um, Echo devices. It's because I just um, have been using uh, Apple Music and stuff like that more, which Apple Music even works with the Echo. So, you know, it really depends on personal preference. That's how I always say. I mean, you could go on Amazon right now and get an Echo Dot for, I'm trying to see right now, for $30. Like, that's crazy. That's extremely cheap. And HomePod, $300. So yeah, be sure to check out those links if you want to. Like I said, not sponsored by Amazon. Just want to let you guys know. And uh, yeah, I mean, even the shows are on sale. They're, they're $30 off. Um, wow, they're, they're, a lot of things are on sale. This is crazy. Anyway, um, I will see you all in the next video. If you liked the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I know this was kind of long um, and a lot of talking, but um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed talking with y'all. Um, subscribe and click that bell to be notified whenever I publish more videos like this. All right. I will see y'all later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.